Hi you all. Well today's video is just a quick presentation of what I cooked myself up for Thanksgiving. And there's so many things I'm thankful for and I'm thankful to all of you my wonderful subscribers and viewers. So please do stay tuned and watch the rest of this video after these short messages and enjoy. Okay, so this beef has now been slow cooking at 190 degrees Fahrenheit for the last four hours and it's looking absolutely wonderful. So it's definitely time to take this out and wrap it up in aluminum foil and we'll let it cook up for another four hours and then it should be so tender. So now I'm going to wrap this beef up in some aluminum foil just to preserve all the moisture inside and just to help it to soften. And the pad is actually really rendered beautifully here. And I'm just going to repeat some of my rub ingredients that I put on earlier before I started cooking. So just pouring a bit of maple syrup over the top. A little sprinkle of ground white pepper a little sprinkle of garlic powder a sprinkle of smoked paprika I earlier put some salt and some umami, but I don't think I'll need any more of that. Just to seal things up. And these meat juices and the fat's looking wonderful, but I'm just going to pour a bit of water in the bottom, just so this generates some moisture. And of course all these meat juices I will pour out later and actually use them for my gravy. And I'm going to place this back into my oven, but this time at 220 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, wrapped up in aluminum foil. And I'm going to let this slow cook, wrapped up like this to preserve the moisture for the next three to four hours until it's done and pull apart tender. Okay, so our brisket has been slow cooking, well first uncovered for the first four hours at about um, 180, 190 degrees Fahrenheit and then for the last um, five hours wrapped up in aluminum foil at about 220 degrees Fahrenheit so we're going to cut into this and then we'll serve up our meal. Oh wow this looks absolutely wonderful and I did tie it up and I will include the um, recipe and the amounts and everything and hopefully write down the method if I remember. Um, just pulling off some of the strings here I did wrap this up well with butcher's twine and 
but it is certainly nice and tender and it's looking absolutely wonderful. love a good piece of brisket and I haven't had it for a while um, I'd normally have turkey for Thanksgiving but there's not a big choice of turkey here in this country at the moment and it's so expensive that I thought I'd just stick with the brisket and enjoy that instead So we'll just serve our meal now. And everything certainly looks delicious. And that certainly looks a wonderful meal and of course homemade gravy oh before I forget I do have some homemade cranberry jelly here that I'll just um, put with my meat as well a little homemade cranberry a blah, 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 Ariella Blur. A little homemade cranberry jelly. So we have here a lovely meal. And of course, I need to pour myself a drink while I eat, of course. And I hope this sunlight's not um, overwhelming things. Chin chin. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you, my wonderful subscribers and viewers. And of course, wishing you all the best for the year to come. And I'm thankful for the Lord Jesus Christ, of course. And I'm very thankful for all of you. Who watch my videos and give me thumbs up and all of that and subscribe to my channel and hopefully we'll get many 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 more subscribers and many many views chin chin and now of course to have a taste test and I just made some mashed potato and mashed pumpkin just to go with my brisket 
no turkey this year because unfortunately turkey was very expensive and not a very big choice yet and of course I've got some homemade gravy which is wonderful oh yeah that's delicious so now cutting myself off some beef a bit of um, cranberry jelly and some gravy wonderful oh yeah that's wonderful it's just so tender this beef and of course being yearling brisket it is quite tender to start off with anyways and a wonderful flavor I haven't had beef for ages, so I'm really enjoying this. Anyways, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please do smash that little bell and choose all alerts and that would be much appreciated. Also please do be oh Ariel Burr. Also please do consider becoming a member of my channel. Membership start at US two bucks per month and of course it would be great to have some more members and of course there's always a big shout out to the couple of members that I have and if you just look at the start of the video I do have a shout out for my members there. Also please do check out my merchandise store links are down below in the description and of course the sweater that i'm here, that i'm currently wearing is an example of what's on my merchandise merchandise store and of course there is a tab on my channel here for that as well and links down below anyways take care god bless and until next time bye bye Dear viewer, if you love my channel and wish to support my ability to keep creating content, please consider becoming a member of my channel. As a member, badges will be displayed next to your name in live chats and on comments, and also you shall have access to exclusive content. Thank you so much. Dear viewers and fans of my channel, Ariella Viking Venturer and Victuals, if you love my channel and wish to support me, please check out my merchandise as I've recently opened a merchandise store on Teespring. Links are in the cards and the end screen as well as being included in the description of this video. Thank you!
So I'll ask you all, please do watch my videos through to the very end. Please do share my videos amongst all your friends and help my channel to grow. Also in suggested videos after watching one of my videos, please click on one of my video links so that my video is suggested and helps my channel climb up higher in the search rankings. Thank you so much and I love you all. Well, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Well, let's all get outdoors more and enjoy nature and take care of our environment. May my dream of moving to America come true. May the land of the free remain forever free. God bless America.